Lewis was able to lift 500 pounds or 227 kilos with one finger. You see this fat guy on the screen? He is 200 kilos. So according to the record, Lewis would be able to lift him up with one finger. Imagine what Lewis Sierra could do if he used his whole body. He'd be able to put this guy on his shoulder and shot put him across the goddamn room. Hey, I'm Alex Lamb, and in this episode of Stories of the World, we'll be talking about the strongest man in history, Louis Sierre. First, there's something very important we need to know. Louis was born in 1863 and died in 1912. Why is this important? Well, he existed before sports science was a proper thing. In 1920s is when they began attempting at concentrating and drying away protein. Steroids was first synthesized in Germany in 1935. And so sports science back then compared to today was a complete joke. So Louis being all natural is an absolute absolute beast. I'm not downplaying bodybuilders now, uh, you know, what they do is extraordinary feats of strength. It's unbelievable. But Lewis is on a whole nother level. So let's get to the story. Sia was born in saint cyprien de Napaville, Quebec, Canada. Coming from a robust French Acadian family, he began developing extraordinary strength at an early age. From the age of 12, Sia worked in a lumber camp during the winter and on the family's farm the rest of the year. Discovering his exceptional strength at a young age, he amazed his fellow colleagues with his feats of strength. Upon hearing of the tale of legendary strongman Milo of Croton, he attempted to mimic his practice. Croton's story was that as a child, he carried a calf on his shoulders and continued to carry it till it grew into a full-grown bull and him into a man. Sia tried to carry a calf, however, one day the calf kicked him and ran off. So instead, began carrying a sack of grain a quarter mile every day and added two pounds each day. At age 17, Lewis started his strongman career after the public found out about an incident when young Lewis was reported to have lifted a farmer's heavily laden wagon out of the mire when it became stuck. In 1878, the Sierra family immigrated to Massachusetts in the United States. Again, his great feats of strength brought him fame. At 17 years old, he weighed 230 pounds. He entered his first strongman contest in Boston at age 18, lifting a horse off the ground. The horse weighed approximately three quarters of a ton. In March 1886, Lewis entered another strongman competition in Quebec City against the reigning Canadian strongman, David McCall. During the one hand barbell lift event, Sia lifted 219 pounds, Macard lifted 158 pounds. On the back lift event, Sia lifted 2,371 pounds, Macard lifted 2,071 pounds. Lewis absolutely destroyed the competition to win the title of the strongest man in the country. Richard K. Fox, after hearing about Lewis Sia's strength, offered $5,000 to anyone who could beat Sia at any of his feats of strength. Promoted by Fox, Lewis went on tour from 1885 to 1891. He beat a plethora of big name strongmen, such as Sebastian Miller, Binkonski, aka Cyclops. Now this guy could genuinely bend coins. August Johnson, Richard Pennell, and that's just to name a few. Lewis's feats have sometime been exaggerated over time, but some were well documented, such as lifting a platform on the back holding 18 men for a total weight of 1,967 kilos, lifting a 534 pound weight with one finger, pushing a freight car up an incline, at 19 years old, he lifted a rock from the ground up onto his shoulder, which officially weighed 514 pounds. He beat Eugene Sador's bench press record by two pounds to a total of 273 pounds. Lewis's last contest of strength was with Hector D. Carey. Sierra retained his title and retire undefeated. By 1904, Sierra's health began to deteriorate due to excessive eating and inactivity. And on November 10th, 1912, Sierra died of chronic nephritis. nephritis. Nefritis. How do you say that word, man? Great homage was paid by all of Canada, with immense crowds attending the funeral and floral tributes coming from all over the world. Louis Sierre was 
the strongest man in history. And I just want to reiterate from the beginning, this was without the sport science knowledge that we have today. Imagine if he actually had the support of, of the stuff we know today. Those electric pulse that make your muscles move or, you know, slow-mo special cameras that make sure you're moving efficiently. If he had all that, he'd be a god, literally. So here's a question. How strong do you think humans can get or will get? Do you think we'll get to the point where people can punch through concrete? Personally, I think we're getting to the point where bionic arms and technology is coming into play. So I think humans naturally, uh, we're just going to get weaker. I know that there's one or two people that always push the limit but i think as a whole like if we were to average everyone's strength we'll continually get weaker and that's due to technology you know we don't have to exert ourselves as much anymore we've got robots doing the heavy lifting etc so that's the story of the strongest man that ever lived lewis sierra if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to hear more stories. Be sure to check out my previous videos and if you have any stories that you'd like me to cover, let me know. I'm Alex Lamb and this is Stories of the World.